I would have to say this is one of the most fun experiences I've had in a really long time and one of the most beautiful places I've been to. I had read Steve Cress's book about his project and, mm. and I thought this is a very special conservation project that's really close to my heart. Today we had a great day. We headed out on the water early and we went all the way out to uh, Eastern Egg Rock, the site of the Puffin Restoration Project. A couple of the interns that worked for me in the summer, college-age biologists, uh, rowed off in their little rubber boat, came on board, so the, the uh, Rhodes Scholars were able to meet some of the young biologists that give us inspiration. My favorite part of the program was actually today when we went to Ross Island, a very tiny, uninhabited island, to do a census of uh, gulls. Identifying the nests and seeing the different colors and shades on the eggs was very interesting, and also being able to see an actual egg with some cracks in it, and you could see the chick inside. I've never been able to experience that, and I actually was able to hold it up to my ear and listen to the little goal that was inside. That was quite special. It was uh, useful scientific research. It was fun walking through these and fascinating to see the nests, and uh, in the case where we found the chicks, just really intriguing to see nature living itself. This is one of the only times people land on this island all year long, and so it's an opportunity for people to do something that most other people don't get to do. I got to actually hold great black back chicks in our actual hands and that was uh, just, uh, just an amazing experience. But gosh, we had, we had uh, so many great adventures. Yeah, and right, yeah. my goodness, the instructors are such experts such knowledge in, in birds. When we got here, there was a young man who uh, took us by boat from the mainland over to the island. Soon I realized that Eric was much more than a caretaker and warden. His fund of knowledge has been extraordinary. Yesterday we did a walk on Harbor Island and he gave a lecture on geology and exposed us to the geological formations on the island that was a lecture that was second to none. The thing I love about Rhodes Scholar is just the, the variety of people that it, it introduces me to. They want to keep learning and they bring with them their knowledge and their enthusiasm to share with others. I am just so grateful to be active and involved and have programs like this that give meaning to my life. In some ways, it's the best part of my life. Everyone is part of nature. We are all part of it. Understanding how it works is the beginning, but being a steward for this planet, and especially for the wildlife, that's what is so important, and it's a take-home message that people that come to Hog Island can go home and realize that they can make a difference. I think the world we're in fundamentally defines a lot about who we are, and I've seen people come out to Hog Island and surround themselves with this nature, and it really rejuvenates them. It brings a whole level of growth in their conservation and their attitudes towards nature and nature surrounds us all the time and we can't escape that and by coming out to Hog Island where everything around you is fascinating, is intriguing, is it's like nature to the nth degree and when you go back to a, your normal environment whether it's a city or a suburb a lot of people bring back a noticing of the little points of nature.